So guys going forward, now let us discuss Korn's algorithm. So TCP's solution to retransmission ambiguity problem is based on the use of a technique called Korn's algorithm named after its inventor Phil Korn, right? So Korn's algorithm actually has two parts. The first part says that ignore measured RTT for retransmitted segments for RTO evaluation. Now Korn's algorithm is very simple. It simply states that do not even consider any RTT for retransmitted segments. We discussed in the previous lecture video that TCP had ambiguity regarding choosing the correct value of RTT. So this point simply says that if you have ambiguity, if you have confusion regarding choosing a correct value of RTT, then simply do not make a choice. And the second part of the Kahn's algorithm says that use back of RTO for retransmitted segments and do not consider their measured RTT for RTO evaluation. Right? So this is something we are already familiar with. Whenever the segments are retransmitted, we apply the back of algorithm over RTO and retransmit the segments using exponential back of algorithm. Now, let me elaborate a little more about the first part of Korn's algorithm. So, because measured RTT for retransmitted segments would skew the RTO incorrectly, right? Why it will skew the RTO incorrectly? Because TCP doesn't know that which RTT to choose in order to evaluate RTO correctly, right? So, the first point of Korn's algorithm simply say, throw away any reliable data and do not even consider that data for RTO evaluation. So this completely solves the problem of retransmission ambiguity, right? The root cause of the ambiguity problem was that, that which RTT to choose. Now Kahn's algorithm says that do not choose any RTT at all. So ambiguity problem disappear. Now by not choosing any RTT of retransmitted segments, there is another problem. At the same time, not choosing any RTT of retransmitted segment, this will prevent sending TCP to take corrective measures to segment losses which is potentially due to network congestion breaking the main strength of TCP which is adaptive transmission, right? So this is another problem. If TCP do not consider any RTT of retransmitted segments for RTO evaluation, then how will TCP respond to congestion in the network, right? Remember, TCP is retransmitting the segments because their ACK did not arrive. Non-arrival of ACK is an indication of congestion in the network, right? So to deal with this situation, TCP should not mess up the computation of RTO, but also TCP should respond to the network congestion. And that is why the second part of the Kahn's algorithm kicks in for compensation. According to the second part, subsequent retransmission timers are doubled of the previous, right? And this is back of algorithm. The back of factor is not reset until there is a successful data transmit that does not require retransmission, right? So if you combine point number one and point number two, then you have Kahn's algorithm in place. So now I completely understand that there is a need of example to see Kahn's algorithm in action, right? So after going through the algorithm, come back to this slide and read these two points again and ask yourself whether you have successfully applied these two points of the Kahn's algorithm in the example. So now let us discuss the example which illustrate Kahn's algorithm.